We're catching murderers, not running a popularity contest. Oh, but we should though. Rusty, let's run a popularity contest. That would that would be fun. No, no. All right, we'll carry on solving the murders then. Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to L.A. Noir with me, Kane83, and we haven't done a uh, a side quest in a while. So let's head on and take this call. We put the siren on and drive our police crime scene photographer mobile all the way over to uh, whatever's going on here. Did they say it was men with guns, something like that? So we get the opportunity to shoot another dude. Uh, it's always fun when we get to shoot people. Let's try and get him in the leg this time rather than uh, in the head, if possible. We want to take him down, but we don't want to kill him. We want them arrested. I think um, looking at the cutscenes, the previous ones of these, it is actually possible to to finish without killing them. So uh, yeah, let's hope for that. Um, but most of the time, I've just ended up killing them because yeah. They're, they're awkward and they, they'd rather die than uh, go to jail so we'll do our best see what we can do drive safely keep the LA safe uh, is it going to be all the way down through this tunnel? I guess it probably is I love these old sirens they make such a interesting noise. It kind of makes me think of Ghostbusters every time though. In their ambulance. Whatever that thing was. Ecto-1. Wow, this is a long way. There, look, we just passed another policeman. He'd have been there hours ago if they called him. Or if we hadn't responded. We're just jumping in at these jobs and there are other people. We're basically taking away policemen's wages by getting to the jobs before them. But I don't have time to feel guilty about that. Let's uh, get ourselves to this crime scene and take care of these guys. Man, this is a long way. I did not expect this to be so far away. Wow. Let's let's go the wrong way up here. Because why not? Take the shortest route if we can. Not knowing where it is. Let's go up here. It looks a bit more to the right than straight. Here we go. We're nearly there. Okay, we missed that. I thought that was someone's driveway. Okay, we are here. Cough it up. I've had enough of your gibberish. Whoa! Yeah, he's dead. Give it up, LAPD. Hey, Run! Come on, Cole. Don't let him get away. Thank you for for pointing. I still catch him. I know I can still catch him. Lock him up and throw away the key. I'm gonna get you, dude. Don't you worry about that. Got him in the arm. He didn't enjoy that, I don't think. Oh, I can't jump up there. Come on. Where did he go? I did shoot him. Thought I was gonna get him then, but nope, apparently not. Oh, is he? Come on, dude. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Yeah. Got him. I think I got him alive. I don't know. I did shoot him in the foot. I think I got both of his arms at various points there. Ah, oh, he's dead. Honestly. Do everything he can to try and keep a dude alive and he just dies anyway. Typical. 
<sighs> right, crime scene photographer's car. Let's get on with the job that we were actually here supposed to do, which is now miles away from us. Woo! Lots of sirens in this episode. Gonna be a lot of driving. But what can you do? Uh, at least we got our uh, daily steps up. We got our exercise for the day. Don't have to worry about that. Let's drive that way. Uh, LA look nice in these days. Like it wasn't too highly built. Whoa! Out of the out of the pavement. Come on, guys. Look lively. Whoa! That was sort of my fault. <laughs> there we go, around the corner. Right, we're just going to a liquor store. I love this. Like, the sense of urgency to get some booze. There's a bottle of whiskey with my name on it. Out of my way. Ah, oh, all good fun. All good fun. Whee. I guess since it was such a long drive to the, uh, the call out, it's going to be a long drive back as well. Very annoying. Oh, there we are. We're picking up speed now. Whoa! Let's go. Wrestle the car around that corner. It looks like it's a dead end, so. Oh, it wasn't. It was on the other side of the road. Oops. Look at the road, not at the map. So it's down this road here. A do 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 choice wines and liquors, imported and domestic. Oh, he's open late. Look, we could have uh, we could have just uh, had a nice chill day and come in the evening. Honestly, Rusty. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. Mm -hmm. She took some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Ready? Come on. Which way? Show me the way. I could never have found this on my own. Oh, okay, it's not in this room, it's in the back room. Got some fine stock here, Mr. Robin. Are you going to uh, well, make a run for it? For the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Shut up, Rusty. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. Come on, Rusty, hurry up. Oh my, she stayed here, dude. This was not keeping stuff here, this was living. Oh my life. Right, so she's an actress. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Okay. Legal copyrights. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Yeah, okay. And then a bowling pin. Why on earth has she got a bowling pin? Rollins Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. <laughs> Rollins. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. Good, good for you, Rusty. Well, they weren't bowling there last night. Come on. No, that's the same stuff. We've already looked at that. Find something different to look at. Okay, we got a picture. Is that her and her mum? Yeah. Can't turn it over or anything? No. Apparently that, that's all we get at that one. Uh, anything over here? We've got another picture. She wasn't always such a loner. Okay. And what's this? Diary or just a story? Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Metaphysics. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Well, you'd know about that because you sold her the drink. 
Gotta make a living. Okay, it doesn't appear to be anything in there. It seems to be everything. Okay. Where are you, Rusty? Are oh, you there? I'm stumped. Ideas? Check through her belongings, Phelps. I just did. Just did. There definitely wasn't anything on the back of here. Right. There's nothing else over here. That's looking at that stuff which we looked at. Can I look further into the book? Ah, here we go. Yes, I can. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Right, there we go. Is that the only thing we missed? Nothing on the back of that. Can't further investigate it. Uh, no, it's definitely not any ding dong sounds around here. No, that's what we've already seen. Stop looking at the same things again. And that's... Yeah, we've seen everything now. Any ideas? Question the owner. He must know something. Okay, we'll go back and talk to the dude. Okay. Knowledge. Uh, let's do relationship with victim first. Are you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robin? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Uh, I think he's probably telling the truth. I don't know. He's he's blinking quite a lot, isn't he? All right, let's doubt. When Evelyn bought the ah, oh. did she say who she was meeting or where she was going? A young drinking friend of hers, I think. Don't recall his name. That's annoying. We should we should have uh, given him the benefit of the doubt. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Well, we t we said that he was lying last time. Now he's shifting his weight all over the place. He was perfectly still before. Oh, I don't know. Doubt. Oh. And your friend, and you still kept selling her booze. You ever try to stop an addict, detective? Better me than having her buy methylated spirits from the hardware store. Yeah, I suppose that's a fair point of view. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. <sighs> Alright, truth. She talked about oh, come him. on. Supposedly he fought in the International Brigade. In I got every single one of those wrong. Back in Virginia. Man. I thought you were Evelyn's friend, Robbins. You should learn some manners. Some goddamn respect. We're catching murderers, not running a popularity contest. Oh, but we should though. Rusty, let's run a popularity contest. That would that would be fun. No, no. All right, we'll carry on solving the murders then. Fine. Well, that went as bad as it could possibly go. We got all three questions wrong. <laughs> Where should we go and get things wrong now? Let's go to the bar. Because that's more pertinent to the case, I think, than the bowling alley. So we'll, we'll go to the bowling alley afterwards. Oh yeah, check me out. Going, going the wrong way down this road. Uh, come on, that way. Why are you guys running? I didn't go anywhere near you. Nino, 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 Nino. Get out of the way! Anyway, guys, I think... Oh, we've got... <laughs> I'm not going to respond to that today. Um, because we are going to end the episode right there. Thank you very much for watching as I drive 
straight past my destination. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you again next time where we will investigate this uh, this bar called Menches. Um, so yeah, if you do want to find out anything more K83 related, turn off the siren now. Uh, anything more K83 related, please go to K83.com where you'll find links to all of the stuff that I do. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!